If you have type 2 diabetes, there's a good chance that you're taking metformin. Now, metformin is a medication, I know many of you know this, it's a medication to help uh, with your blood sugar and help control your diabetes. Um, and one of the reasons why I say if you have type 2 diabetes, there's a good chance you're on it is because literally it's considered uh, one of the first drugs of choice or first line drugs that we often prescribe people uh, when diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now, yes, there are some people who can't take it, shouldn't take it, don't take it, etc. But many people are on it for good reason. However, the thing about metformin is as good of a medication as it is, and it is, um, it can actually cause some side effects. I'm going to tell you what those side effects are. I want you to tell me if you have side effects of metformin, if you're taking metformin, by the way. Uh, and I'm also going to give you some solutions about what to do about those side effects. Now, very quickly, you should know metformin works uh, to help control the blood sugar by decreasing the amount of sugar that the liver makes. It also helps the body use insulin more effectively to deal with the sugar in our body. And it also helps the intestines absorb less sugar from food. That's sort of how it does its job. Now, now let's talk about some of the side effects because I know many of you guys have these. I have family members with these side effects. I've had many patients over the years with these side effects and some right now that I'm working with because of them. Uh, side effects that are common and uh, like raise your hand metaphorically if this is you. Uh, abdominal pain. Some people who are taking uh, metformin can get abdominal pain. Also diarrhea. This is a big one. I have a lot of patients. I've had many family members have diarrhea. Um, nausea. Just feeling kind of sick to their stomach. Also flatulence. Mm -hmm. A little bit of gas passing. Okay. Yep. Metformin can do that. Uh, some people have decreased appetite and others get some bloating. Uh, you, you know, there's other symptoms that can happen too, by the way, but a common sort of uh, bulk of side effects that can happen with metformin have to do with the GI tract, the gastrointestinal tract or the stomach. Blah. Okay. Abdominal pain, the nausea, the bloating, the diarrhea, the flatulence, blah, blah, blah. I've had patients tell me that, that their side effects were so bad that they couldn't even uh, take their medicine before leaving the house because they knew they would need to be near a toilet. Okay. That's how bad side effects can be with metformin. Although not everybody gets side effects um, and not everybody gets them to the same degree. Okay. Okay, so now I know you're like, ah, oh, that sounds like me or blah, 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 what do I do? Well, you know, as much as I'd like to be your doctor, I am not. So I'm going to remind you that you should be talking to your doctor about what's right for you and about your medications, okay? I'm just giving you a little primer, just a little information, little factoids to take to your doctor and say, I saw the Dr. Jan on the Googler Smokler, and this is what she said. Is she right? Or <laughs> what do we do here, doc? Um, I digress though. Anyway, so, okay, so what do you do if you have GI symptoms or side effects, okay? And remember, once again, everybody's got them to different degrees. If they have them at all, many people don't have these side effects. Okay, uh, three ways to try to help your symptoms. Number one is to uh, take your medications with food. That can help with your symptoms. Uh, run that by your doctor. See if they concur because they should be guiding your care. I'm just giving you some ideas of things that have worked for other people. Um, but yes, taking uh, metformin with food may be something that helps. Another thing that may help is if your doctor starts low with the dosage and sort of gradually what we call titrates the dosage up. So metformin comes in many different doses from 500 to 1,000, some doses in between, okay? Rather than starting with a big bang, maybe for you, something that may be helpful is if you start at a lower dose and gradually go up. But once again, whether that makes sense, is appropriate, and is right for you depends on your doctor. So you got to talk with them. But sometimes that can help people with the GI side effects, okay? Uh, the other thing that may help some of you is an extended release formula uh, formulation of the medication. There are, there's like metformin ER and other things, uh, extended release, so long acting, so you don't have to take it as much. It's not immediate release. And for some people, that helps the side effects. Now, I've had some patients who their side effects get better um, over a few weeks just naturally. I have other patients who that just never happens and we need to consider other medication options. What you need to do will depend on what you and your doctor discuss, what your symptoms are, and again, what's right for you. Do I sound like a broken record? I probably do, but it's because I love you, I care about you, and I want you to realize that this really is an individual choice and one your doctor and you should be making. But these are just some tidbits and points of um, information to help you. There are some ways to potentially help the side effects of metformin if you have them talk to your doctor. I know you knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Anyway, guys, let me know uh, what you do if you take metformin for uh, diabetes or anything else. If this was helpful, let me know. I want to know what's useful and helpful to you. Guys, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff. Also consider joining my subscription groups for exclusive content. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.